I thought I'd kind of give you an updated video of some of our area here. So this is the bird barn here to the left, which we're preparing for broilers. Uh, we're going to probably go for 100 this year versus 60, and they've worked out really good. And the stick fence along this area right here has been removed, um, and they're going to be putting up a fence there because we took down this, the fence here, which was around all this old compost area, and you can see that we still have quite a bit of it to move, but we've cleaned out a lot of it, and we've cleaned out a lot over here where the old compost pile was. And so you can see beyond our chain link fence here with the netting, which keeps the birds from flying over. Um, especially since just on the other side over in here is our burn barrel. It's a little pin in there where the um, chickens can't get to it. And uh, so we've still got to fix some of that. But with that stick fence gone, it sure feels like it's opened up this area. Hey, buddy boy. <laughs> and um, it makes it a little bit cleaner looking, I guess, to us, you know. Um, and so over here is the rabbit hutch and you can see that there's a fence now that goes just giving a walkway going out to the compost area and that uh, blue small blue tank over there is what they use to empty out the little boy ah um empty out the pig cistern uh in the barn and this is the one that we use for emptying our septic tank if we need to do it, if the other tractorist is busy, or sometimes we use this to put water out on the crops if it's a really dry period. So we've got just some cleanup still to do. You see pieces of wood and all this kind of stuff over here that we need to clean up. And of course, this over here is the back of the barn. Okay, I'll be in in a minute. And... um uh, uh, the chickens have access to the back of the barn there in a covered area um, and sometimes they hang out there and go through the little door into the barn to stay warm. So that's just kind of what it looks like and some of our, our newer trees here are starting to grow like this one here. That, that one over here is a weed. And so in March I'm going to be pruning the trees and training them um, where the branches go along the cables and you can kind of see that a little bit further down there I just need to clean it up a little bit and um, shorten it so it doesn't grow so tall that way we can harvest everything without a ladder and it actually gives more um, apples and cherries and all that in the long run so these are all apple trees and over here is cherry trees and of course our big pear tree that will be also pruned so I'm going inside because Mark had, and the guys have created a new puzzle table for me because Mark bought me a puzzle that's 3,000 pieces and it needs a bigger space than what I've got. <laughs> 